All right, exciting stuff, guys. Adobe Firefly is now out and it's available in Photoshop and you can actually get the beta of Photoshop and start actually using generative fill to work on your images. But also we have Firefly. I'm going to pop a link to this in the description below, but I'm gonna to go to Explore Firefly. And you'll see we got some different options here to try out. So I've actually got a Creative Cloud account, so I don't know if this is actually because of that, but if I go to text to image, I can try, there's prompts here I can try. So I've got a few selections here and a few options. I can actually go in and try something like a house with a giant alien outside the window and click generate. Now it takes a few minutes, but we get these images and I've got to say they look pretty good. So uh, I'm gonna, this one here I think is the best so far. If I click on this, you see it's already a pretty decent resolution. I'm a, uh, I can submit to the gallery. I've got a few options here. Uh, I've really got to go through this, but I'm gonna download and see what resolution it's at. You'll uh, be sort of promoted here to, they'll ask you to be transparent about the fact it's AI. So usually, well, we all want to do that anyway, but just remember that. I'm gonna click continue and download. So I've got my image here. I'm gonna, and you can see it's got the Adobe Firefly sort of thing in the corner here, not for image, it's not for commercial use. So at the moment, it's still just uh, something to play around with essentially. But we're gonna get a file info. And you can see it's 1408 by 1024. So it's a reasonably decent resolution. Now you can see we've also got here some options like the aspect ratio, we can change it to portrait, square, widescreen. Uh, so we've got some options when we're generating. We've also got some styles we can choose from. There are popular ones, you can materials, we can just go to all, scroll through the whole lot. There's a really, there's a lot here to go through, including the lighting, there's golden hour. We can really experiment with this. So I'm gonna change, I'm gonna keep the lighting as, uh, let's say backlighting. And the styles, I'm gonna go synth wave. I'm gonna go 16 to nine. And there's a color and tone section here. I really kind of wanna go the vibrant color We've already got backlighting there under lighting. Composition is wide angle, so we can change the angle of the photography. But as you can see, it's already generating as I'm changing these options. It's actually incredibly fast. Even though the first one took a little bit of time to render, it's actually rendering these really quickly. So we get some decent resolution images. I can heart the ones I like. Uh, I actually really like this one. And I've got some options here. So submit, uses a reference image. We can show similar generative fill. So we can actually go in and use generative fill as well. So if I want to, I can make a selection. I can go add. And I can type in a man looking at the window. Click generate. And it's popped someone there in the window. So you can see this is all really cool. I'm gonna head back head back and we've got all the other options here. There's generative fill, which I'm gonna show you in a minute in Photoshop. There's text effects, 3D to image, which I think is really cool. Generative recolor. I'm gonna explore all this stuff in a much more detailed video. Uh, at the moment, uh, I just wanted to let you know that this stuff is all here. Sketch to image, so many options. I'm gonna be producing a lot of videos about this uh, over the coming weeks. But uh, let's quickly have a look at text effects. So check out this. It looks like here is where I type the text. So if I type my name, we've got Wade. I can choose a font. So let's say, we'll go view all. Choose something like Source Sans 3. Go back. And we've got all these different other options here, but I'm gonna try something completely different. I'm gonna say wrinkled aluminium foil and click generate. So I've got a few options here by the looks of it that I can explore. I really like this one here. That one looks pretty good to me. And uh, I can change the background color. The text color is uh, it's a different color. What happens if I change it to blue? Well, that's just the background color. I'm gonna make it transparent. Text color, if I make it orange, hasn't had much of an impact on the actual final image, but you get the idea. So I'm gonna quickly show you how you can download Photoshop Beta so that that way you can play with the generative fill. So I'm gonna swap over and we're gonna get into that quickly now. So you're gonna to wanna to head down and open up your Creative Cloud panel. Head down to Beta Apps and install Photoshop Beta and wait a bit of, for a little bit of time and then click open once it's finished installing. 
It'll come up with some information about generative fill, which you can click try now. It then brings up a little bit of information if you want to read that. Uh, but of course, we're just going to go ahead and jump into it. So I've opened up Photoshop and I've opened up an image of mine. Uh, it has a little bit more information about generative fill. I'm just going to basically X that. And the way it works is as long as I select something with my selection tool, I get a little generative fill pop up. And I can click this generative fill button here. It gives me a little bit more information. I agree. And then I just simply type in a prompt of something I want to see. So in this instance, I'm going to choose a massive pirate ship and just sort of see how it turns out. I then press generate and I wait for the results. As you can see, I actually have these arrows here. I have a few that I can choose from. And uh, I think uh, that one's the best. I can actually thumbs up or thumbs down. I can flag it if I think it's sort of inappropriate. I've got a few basic options here to work with. I'm then gonna have a bit of a play around and try to add in a, kind of like a Hulk. I know that that's actually a copyright character. So it'd be interesting considering they're not using copyrighted materials for their artwork. So we'll see what kind of result it comes up with. I get uh, these funny looking images here. Uh, now I can actually go over and add to, so I'll add in green skin, see what comes. So I'll flip through, see what else I can sort of get out of this. Some of these look a bit ordinary, but uh, I tell you what, some of it's really good, some of it's a little bit funny. What's really cool is that on the right hand panel here, we have our layers. We actually have AI generative layers. You can see there's a little icon on them. And above that is a generative layer properties panel. And we can go back and choose any of the other images that we liked. So uh, we can also go in and edit our masks like we normally would and sort of cut out the image that way. So uh, there's a lot of really cool options here to play with. I'm gonna click on the mask of this layer and play with the selector mask a little bit. And basically I've got all the usual settings I have with a normal mask. It uh, behaves just like a normal layer. I'll even, I can even go up and select subject if I want to. So uh, if I want to play with this setting a little bit, I can go to that and actually select the individual ship and have that cut out. So that way I don't have the full image. So that way, if I cut it out and use that mask, I can move it around on the layer and sort of, yeah, have a bit more precise control over it. So overall, it's a pretty cool feature and I'm gonna cover it in a bit more depth uh, very soon, but you get the idea, have a play with it and see what you reckon. So check out Adobe Firefly. Like I said, this is a very quick video. I've pretty much just jumped on it and recorded my experience with it. So uh, it's still, I'm still learning it myself, but I thought you might like to know about that and just get a bit of a general rundown of how it works. So look out for an updated video soon. Otherwise, thanks for watching, check it out and I hope you have a great day.